You know what my opinion is on Undernight in Breath 2? This is the antidote to modern fighting games. It is modern, and it is stylish, flashy 2D action, which is what they call it officially, but it has so many of the features that are being taken out of other fighting games, and that's not important. It's not like all fighting games should do what Undernight's doing, but I consider games like KOF and games like Undernight Inbirth to be like the final bastions of something that is still really valuable in a fighting game. Because other fighting games are like, well, if it's something that causes friction, we should get rid of it. If it's something that makes the game a little bit more exclusive, we should get rid of it. Undernight is like, we're going to make this game complicated, and then after that, we're going to make it more complicated. And then for the new version in 2024, when new players are coming in, we're not going to make it simpler. We're going to make it even more complicated. We're going to add more mechanics to it. You should 100% know that this is a game, yes, obviously, I think the new characters are aimed at trying to get new players in, but the gameplay, the gameplay and the graphics and everything, this is squarely like a gift to people who played the previous games. It's just like, here's what you liked, and we're gonna give you more of it. And in my opinion, Undernight is one of those games which is like still holding the torch for giving you an experience that's gonna be s satisfying on your own efforts, as opposed to satisfying because they just gave you the dopamine. A lot of other games, they just hand you the dopamine and they say, eat it. You just, you just consume dopamine and then you feel good. But a more effective way of using dopamine is to like give you a challenge. And Undernight is like, it's like a, it's a giant treasure bag of, of challenges. But the, the benefit is that when you, when your brain gives you the dopamine after you can like get through the challenges, like the technical inputs and the dash blocking, it's so satisfying. This is going to be a, a game that's satisfying to play forever. I mean, the people who, <laughs> I bet you, I bet you even after this game comes out, people will still be playing the original. But not, not because they don't like the new one. It's just because they love the game. Anyway, I'm also glad that this is a completely different game, not just an update, because we still have access to the old game. If we want to play it the old way, that's still a thing. So, rant over, moving on. <laughs>